This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by the undisputed welterweight world champion Jessica McCaskill here in Fresno. Jessica, first and foremost, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much. It's good to hear. Now, first, firstly, what brings you to Fresno? I got a phone call to be on the broadcast, so I'll be commentating tomorrow night on the fights. It's good to hear. Now, before we do come on to that, let's touch on yourself. Um, we haven't actually ever spoken before, so I'd like to go back to the, the last couple of victories against Cecilia Bracos. Becoming undisputed world, world champion for you, Jessica, what did that mean to you? Oh, it's it's the top of the tier. I mean, it's it's everything that a fighter dreams for, and I feel like I kind of accidentally got there. Um, it wasn't something that I was looking to do when I first started out as an amateur or even when I first became pro. It was just that I wanted to be the best in every situation, and it got me to the top. Cecilia was widely considered as, and still is, one of, one of the greatest women boxers of all time, so to do it against her as well, if I make it a bit more special? Uh, it, it did make it special because I wanted to kind of uh, shut her up a little bit and take that, that undefeated status away from her. So um, I just feel like she could be a better role model and I feel like her resume isn't that impressive. So I feel like you know somebody was going to do it eventually, but I'm glad to be the first. I know there's a lot of, you know, the world's your oyster now on the back of that victory. Katie Taylor seems to be the name on the lips of everybody. Is that the fight that you'd like next? I would love a Katie Taylor fight. I don't know if they're if they're really looking to make it happen. I think the fans, even more now, are really behind that fight. So for the fans, I would love for that to happen. For history, I would love for that to happen. I've done my part in, in making my resume something that it should be, you know, fought and she should come forward and make it happen. I mean, two undisputed champions facing off against each other. Just how big of a fight do you feel that would be? I think it would be ridiculously huge fight. I mean, like I said, I've done my, my part. Fought her once, lost, still went to the top. Uh, same status as her as far as undisputed. So I think people know that I'm, I'm going to fight tooth and nail and, and do my best. When you watch Katie currently and how she's going with her career, do you feel like she's on the slide at all? Because that's been some question marks over the last couple of performances as to whether or not she still can produce those top tier performances we've seen so to, to date. I think she's only getting worse. I think she's got a lot of amateur fights and it's it's working against her now. Uh, whereas I, I had maybe about 25 amateur fights and so I'm in definitely the prime of, um, of my fitness and, and the prime of my fights. So I think, you know, it's reversing for her and it's doing the opposite for me. Just moving on to tomorrow night, Mikey Garcia, Sandor Martin, the, the headline bout. Mikey hasn't fought since uh, Jesse Fargas fight, so best part of 18, 19 months ago. Do you feel that will play a part tomorrow night? I think it'll play a part, but I think it'll play a part in a positive way. Mikey's so focused and so systematic that even when he's had layoffs before, he's only come back to be better, so definitely rooting for Mikey. How key will it be that he produces a, a kind of a, an impressive performance because of what could be in store for him following on from this? That's exactly what he's looking to do is, is use this as a catalyst to, to get him to something better and to get him to the names that he wants. So, you know, he has to make sure that he stays focused and just finish tomorrow night and then he can go on to the bigger, better names. Jessica, I just want to go back to last week as well. I'm cautious to keep it too much of your time because I know accused forming the people to take photos with you. Um, we saw a terrific end to the trilogy bout between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. What did you make of their fight? I was, I was very happy with the fight. I didn't like the the actions Fury was taking as far as using his weight, headlocks, things like that. I'm not a fan of that, but I thought that Wilder put on a great fight. He fought to the very end. He didn't give up. He didn't make excuses, you know, during the fight, like, oh, he's hitting me here. He fought tooth and nail, and I was very happy with, with the production that they put on. Just case, pleasure to talk to you. I'm going to leave you now, but I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much.